My friends, it is the 18th of November 2022 and I'm here in Tokyo to catch the Fujikama Limited Express train to get a glimpse of Mount Fuji hopefully. Thank you so much for joining in today and let's begin our trip report. To catch this train from Tokyo, we take the Tokaido Shinkansen to Shishioka, a ride of just 45 minutes. Mount Fuji is also visible from the Shinkansen, but only for a brief moment. The Fujikawa Limited Express offers various views of the mountain while it is crawling through the valley following the river Fuji. Reservation for this train is optional, but free if you have the Japan Rail Pass. Be aware though that this train has no green card. It is time to go through the ticket gate and onto the platform for boarding. The Fujikawa Limited Express No. 5 operated by JR Central departs Shishioka at 11.45 and arrives in Kofu at 14.03, connecting the Tokaido mainline with the Chio mainline via the Minobu line. Our train for the day is a 3 car class 373. These aren't the newest, but as with all trains in Japan, are well maintained and clean. Car 3 is for people with seat reservation, and at the end of each car, you can find the bay seats, which you can book as room. This means that if you reserve this, you'll get all four seats for you and your party. This costs nothing extra if traveling with your Japan Rail Pass. My seat is 1D, but I can actually sit on any of these four seats. Here is a shot of standard class. Bay seats can't recline, but the regular ones can. At the door area, you'll find the trash cans. It is time to make our way to Kofu. Travel time is 2 hours and 18 minutes. Just before arriving at Fuji City, we get the first view of Mount Fuji. The train refers direction here to get onto the Minobu line. From here, you have plenty of time and opportunities to snap pictures before arriving at Fujinomiya Station. This is one of the many starting points for those wishing to climb all the way to the summit. But we rather stay on board. After leaving Fujinomiya, the train follows the Fuji River and makes its way northwest to Utsubuna. Mount Fuji isn't visible for a while but will return later during the ride.
Time to head to the toilet. In car number 3, you'll find the toilet and a urinal. Looks like the design comes straight from the 80s. As expected, everything is very clean in here. On the opposite side of the toilet, you'll find a sink with soap provided, but no paper towel or dryer. It's very common in Japan to take a small hand towel with you, as most public toilets in this country provide toilet paper and soap, but nothing to dry your hands after washing them. We make a brief stop at Minobu before continuing to Shimobe Onsen. The autumn colors are really beautiful and a feast for the eyes. There's a lot to see along the road, so you won't get bored when Mount Fuji isn't in sight. At Shimobe Onsen, we pass by the southbound Fujikawa Limited Express. Here we can see something unique to Japan. In this country, the fare is collected at the arriving station. If you arrive at an unstaffed station, you usually exit the train at the front, where the driver collects the fare. On this Limited Express, however, all doors are open at unstaffed stations, and the conductors will approach every single passenger alighting here to collect their tickets. If traveling with the Japan Rail Pass, you just simply show your ticket to the conductor, and they will let you pass. After Ichikawa Diamond Station, Mount Fuji will show up again in the far distance and will stay visible till you reach Kofu Station. From there you can get one of the many limited express trains back to Tokyo in less than 2 hours, completing a small circular route. The train you see here next is actually coming from Tokyo and is heading for Matsumoto. As we are now approaching the terminus, let's recap the journey. The Fujikawa Limited Express is a lesser known train that offers some nice views of Mount Fuji during the ride. However, you kinda have to go out of your way from Tokyo to catch this train, as the majority of visitors from Mount Fuji will either go to Hakone or to the Fuji Five Lakes. For them, taking the Fujisan View Express operated by Fuji Q or the Hakone Limited Express operated by Odakyu makes more sense. For Japan Rail Pass holders though, this is a nice and free way of admiring the beauty of Mount Fuji, if you are on a budget. And that was the Fujikawa Limited Express train. Thank you so much for coming along today. Take care guys, we will see each other in the next video.